Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Thanks very much for joining us. Today I want to go through and show you how to get iOS 10 completely free, no developer account needed, as there is no ISPW workaround for this anymore. So if you try to put in an iOS 10 ISPW on iTunes, it will give you an error message and it will not be able to work. So this way you do not need a developer account, it simply works nice and easy. So we're using the iPod Touch here, this is the latest generation, this is the sixth generation. So this does work on multiple devices and I will list them as we go on. So first things first, you'll need a link, which I'll provide in the description down below. So here we go. All you need to do is hit that install here. So we're going to hit install. Put in your passcode if you have one for your device. Then we've got an agreement we're going to have to agree to. And then agree. Restart our device. So if I just swipe up here, you can see we've got the old styled notification area there's nothing new and there's no home app either and what you're going to go you're going to go into settings going to go to general software update so in here you'll see the update for iOS 10 beta and what you can do is hit download and install if you so wish to also at a key point here do make sure you back up your device as well just in case there is any issues or any problems, you don't want to lose that data. And remember, it is only a beta, so there is going to be loads of bugs. I haven't found too many. I had a little go on the iPod before making this video, but I didn't find too many. So I'm going to hit download and install here. Again, it's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one. Again, hit agree and agree. And then just wait. So this will take a little time. It does take between 10 to 15 minutes. It is quite of a slow update but just give it time and it will be there so as this goes on i just want to let you know which devices are available for ios 10 testing so first the iphone you've got the iphone 5 5s 5c se iphone 6 6s and then both the plus versions ipad it will work on the ipad mini 2 3 and 4 the actual ipad 4 ipad air 1 and 2 iPad Pro 9.7, iPad Pro 12.9, and of course the iPod Touch 6th generation. If you do have any issues, please leave a comment down below. Be more than happy to help. Ever such an easy way to get to try the beta before everyone else, or as the developers were already trying, but this works without a developer account. So what I will do at the moment is pause the video here and we'll come back when it's actually all up and done. Okay, so we're back now and we're running iOS 10. So a couple of key things I just wanna go through and demonstrate for you. There's gonna be a full rundown video of all the features that I find in iOS 10 and my top 10 features. Apple did show these, but I think there are some better ones. So that will be coming very shortly. So the first thing you see here is the home app. This is for a smart home. So if you have like a Philips Hue light, a Hive, heating appliance that will be in here and you can control it all through the app and also through your watch as well. So the other thing is the background, it saved the background for me and that is the new wallpaper for iOS 10 and that is available in settings. So let's go first of all to the far left and this is your widget area. So this is what widgets will look like now and you can edit these and change these around so it has weather, different applications, of course, Siri's been updated a little bit and open to some third-party applications. There's been quite a restriction actually on that third-party access for Siri at the moment. So we're going back here, sliding up, you're gonna see the new mission control area as well. This has changed, now the colors represent the watch, which is very nice, and you've got different motions in here. Sliding it along to the other side, you've got another page here where we can control our music from. That's very nice as well. So Siri is still available and in here. So what is the local weather for today? Here's the weather today. There we go. Go back home. Playing down, you've got your notification area. So some of the key changes in this, let me just do a quick rundown for you. And then of course, I'm gonna do a full video as well on each of these changes and of each what Apple actually discussed at WWDC this year. So iMessages have been really overhauled now. You get to see them new effects and new styles of messages. 
Maps has been redesigned as well and it looks a lot smoother. That home application, which I just talked about for your smart home, music has been redesigned as well. News has been redesigned as well, which is good to see. So new mission control, which I discussed. And also now let's go to the lock screen. So lock screen has changed a little bit now. If you slide, normally slide to unlock. If you slide this way, you'll get to your camera and you can use your camera. If you slide to this way, you can see your widgets. So the clock minimizes and goes in there. You've got search bar at the top as well. And you can change these if you so wish. There's an edit button down here at the bottom where you can add more. So I do like that feature. I think that's one of the main features I do like. So to actually unlock your device now, press the home button, put in your lock code. So on the iPhone, you'll use Touch ID. So just a quick note, if you do not want to use this permanently, all you have to do is first of all, go into settings and then general, and then inside here, you've got your profile and you can delete this here by clicking on here and then you hit delete. Then also you need to go onto iTunes, download your ISPW, so 9.3.2. I'll put the website link in the description. And all you do is shift update and then choose your update file and that will work. That's how I managed to get mine working just fine. Like I said, any issues, please leave a comment down below. Be more than happy to help. But that was how to get iOS 10 on the iPod Touch latest generation, sixth generation any issues please leave a comment down below be more than happy to help thanks always for watching please give a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye for now